Fendig Theatre for Children prides itself on reusing set pieces, costumes, and lumber each year. This not only saves the organization money, but also allows for more programming and Easter eggs throughout our entire signature performances. Fun fact about our recent production of Disney's Beauty and the Beast, the entire set was reused lumber and pieces from several storage spaces. What? Even more impressive, this entire library was literally made out of scrap pieces of wood. Step one, cut out a bunch of scrap pieces of wood. There are literally hundreds of books on these shelves. We cut down scrap lumber into skinny, smaller pieces so it looks like it's just the spine of the book. That way, the library wasn't too heavy when it hung in the air. Step two, paint the books a bunch of different colors. This took a long time, and we didn't get a whole lot of photos because we were really messy, but many hands make light work. We are very thankful for our volunteers. There were probably 12 or so of us that helped paint each book. While the paint dried, our set building team built the frame to hold the books and assembled the hardware to support this piece to hang in the air and move on a track. Step four, we assembled all the books. That's what we're doing here. We varied heights, thicknesses, and colors to make it look like a random assortment of books just like it would be in a library. Step five, make the pieces of wood look like a library. Sometimes this is called dressing a set piece or making it look like the piece is supposed to in the setting that it is in the production. A couple of volunteers, including myself, either did scribble titles with paint and a brush or decided from a predetermined list of titles what to write on the book. Here's the fun part. The bottom shelf of the books is entirely Fendig history. The bottom row was every show chronologically performed by Fendig Theater for Children. We start with the Pied Piper in 1976 and go to Disney's Beauty and the Beast performed last summer in 2022. Any names you see on the library books are names of original founding board members for Fendig Theater for Children. After that, you see a variety of acting phrases, theater terms, and some Easter eggs to different sponsors, volunteers, and board members who helped out with the show. Up close, these books look kind of silly and weird, but from far away and under the stage lights, this set piece added to the beautiful castle that is in Disney's Beauty and the Beast. What was your favorite set piece that you've ever seen in a show? Tell us in the comments. Be sure to like, follow, and stay notified for upcoming virtual and in-person programs. We serve children through high school here at Fendig Theater for Children. Links will be in the description below.